this is kind of like the Red Zone channel tonight, Eli. You know, we're going to kind of be going to where the action is. Three and outs, don't expect to see a lot of that. We want passes. We want touchdowns. Not even sure we'll show punts or field goals, folks. I'm, I'm just going to warn you. We're looking for touchdowns and throwing the ball tonight. That's what this uh, two games at once is all about. It's, yeah. uh, it's really incentive ahead, for the offenses to play well. If the offense doesn't play well, you might not even get on TV tonight. It looked like he hit his hand. But there's no doubt about it with a new center, I'd rather be in the shotgun than under center because if it's a bad snap, at least you can recover it. Under center, if it hits you in a bad spot, that ball's coming out. Things are happening faster on the goal line. Guys are, you know, going to rush harder right down there low. What a big-time turnover there for the Titans. Not much going on in either game here, Pay Both are backed up. We're going to go to both games at the same time. It's, you know, let's see if a, maybe a safety most exciting thing that can happen right here. Well, I mean, it'd be, it'd be almost as many points that were scored in that Vikings-Raiders game the other day. Eli, let's come back to the Dolphins. All right. I don't, I, I don't think you have the ability to do that. I don't think you can. I think oh. I do. I think I do. Okay. All right, I want to see. I want to see what Hill. If Hill comes back in on this next play, it tells you what kind of competitor he is. A little shift. A little stop. There you go. Right. Come on, Tyree. Come on, baby. I do. I do feel like they are using uh, Hyatt more, Eli. I think right to, to get him, get him on some explosive play, which is smart, right? I mean. He's so fast. So let's, let's use him. I didn't feel like we were using him at all last time we had uh, the Giants. So I could tell they've listened to us. They watched the broadcast of ESPN2, and they are using him more in their offense. No doubt. And he's a playmaker. And, you know, you know, just like, you know, just like a quarterback takes time to learn the offense and get comfortable, he's got to get comfortable as well. Are the New York crowds, obviously, were probably the nicest and most forgiving there are as well as like in football? Yes. yes. Yeah, exactly. I, you know, I started in, uh, I, I lived in New York for eight and a half years doing comedy. So it's, uh, yeah, I mean, they just know what they want. They're just, you go on stage and they're like, all right, you better be funny immediately. Or they're just like, we, we're out. So New York was definitely tough. You know, they're quick. They're quick to boo, quick to judge. Yeah, like this. See, look at, look at DeVito. Who is this guy? He's talking to. Okay, look, whatever you need, I got you. I'll take care of it, all right? Come on, Faye, that's, that's his agent. Of course that's his agent. Come on, Tommy DeVito's agent. That is what's in the bag? Up. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? I want to know what's in the bag. Some cutlets. Some cutlets for later. You know? It looks like, Mom. It looks like, it looks like Johnny Fontaine from The Godfather. There he is. See, he's, he's in there. Of course. He takes Where's care the of the next? DeVitos. Yeah, I, the the bag, the bag had tickets in it. There's a big bag of tickets. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's bring in uh, Will Compton, Carol Lewan. They got their new, their podcast going, busting with the boys. You guys host a podcast from a bus. I host a TV show from a basement. I mean, did you ever think life just didn't really work out the way it was supposed to? <laughs> Eli, I ask myself Taylor, that question go ahead and take every it. single day, brother. I get up. Okay, well, I will. Thank you so much. The lag is perfect on here. Uh, yeah, I ask myself that every single day when I go jump on the bus and I got to see this man. You think you played nine years in the NFL, grab yourself a couple of Pro Bowls, you wouldn't be sitting in the back of a $2,000 bus, but here I am. But happy to be with you boys. Happy with the Manning brothers. Got my best friend Compton on here watching a little ball, talking shop. What a life we get to live. All right. He, no magic tricks, right? Is the dad coming on doing any magic tricks? <laughs> Inside joke. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. Nate hey, Mark I need, I need to get... Uh, are, is there any way I can get this thing turned up? There you go, Will. Eli, That's a perfect Eli, interview on Monday Night Football. I'll just, you know... <laughs> Eli, it looks like your boy Tommy uh, was kind of looking for a for a blow to the head there. I know Dayball was looking for it. What he the hell? Call it, though. Why? He, he, just because he's a rookie? Undrafted rookie, hit, you know, quarterback sliding, they hit him, they don't call it. What's up with this? I think with the, I think with a name like DeVito, they expect him to be tougher and not, you know, beg for those calls like, you know, certain quarterbacks do. I never did that, but, you know. 
So, hey guys. All right, we're gonna get it on the half yard line here. I think you go with a run first play. After that, they're gonna do some tricky stuff and pass it in, but that's a cop out. I'll go with a run, Peyton. Will, what do you like, pal? I'm gonna be honest. I hope the uh, Dolphins score because I got a minus 13 and a half and I really need them to pick up the pace a little bit. Taylor, your mustache is much better now than in this picture. Just want to get that on the record. Let's say. I do appreciate that. That was, that was a uh, less testosterone and about 60 pounds ago, brother. So I appreciate you picking up on the mustache. I can't grow much of a beard, but I am proud of this, uh, this lip ferret. It's very nice. I, I do love it. Ooh, look at that. We got a little fumble. We got a little fumble. Fumble in New York. Hey. Taylor, we'll give you a chance also. I think DeVito God. is on the one. Are the Giants going to score one. a touchdown? And if so, how? We'll give you both a chance to make a prediction. Giants touchdown. Who's scoring, Taylor? Oh, brother, you got to go with the run on the one-yard line. You can't argue with that. You got to push it in there immediately and just get it done. Let the big guys roll. Will, do you agree? Yeah, Saquon Barkley. You got to get him in the end zone. Oh, we jumped off sides. Made a miss. Touch. Oh. Saquon, get in. Put him up there. Both Put of them are in, there, Eli. Let's go, boys. We're on there. We got a good mustache out of Taylor. Get us on the board. Right, right there. Right, Y'all go right. together. Package, package deal there. There we go. That was early. I mean, these guys just, I mean, they just came on the show. They're already right away. There. Right That's away, they get on. Taylor. That's a young Taylor and Wills, but that is. Right now, what do you think he's saying to the Titans at this point in the game? What's going on? There's a TV yeah, timeout. Bray, so. Bray's probably got his, he's got his arms like that, double chins hanging out going, what are we doing? Like, why are we punting? Like, just block your guy right now. It's not that hard, guys. Like, seriously, I, play, I played 14 years in the league. Like, I've been in your seat before. Just do it. Just be, just be the guy, for God's sakes. Where's Jeffrey Simmons at? Can we get Jeffrey Simmons out here for a second? That's, that's Vrabel in a nutshell, boys. That's exactly what he's doing right now. He's probably talking to Stretch, his secretary over the mic right now, going, you think I should have challenged that back there? I, I, I just don't even know anymore. Dying for some nicotine. <laughs> you concur, Will? You concur with this? Uh, Le Taylor, you called the floor the smartest guy in the room. Uh, if he was hanging out with a bunch of offensive linemen, how big of a compliment is that, really? <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Peyton, you know. He's making fun you of should you know right there. That off <laughs> I know. I'm very aware. Thank you, Eli. You should know that offensive linemen, I mean, aside from the quarterback, are the smartest guys in the entire room. I'll tell you, I, I, uh, I'm surprised you didn't have any more qualms with your offensive linemen the way you were keeping them in their stance for 45 seconds between every single play while you're out there. <laughs> That's a tough deal. Killing the boys' oh, legs so over and over again. You had Saturday. Saturday and the boys had to get on you about oh, the way he's you up. were just sitting there over and over again. Oh, so you think uh, so you th so you're blaming me for being up there calling audibles and you think the offensive linemen don't like being just down here in a three point stance for forty seconds. They don't like that, you don't think? No. Hey, you know what? And I, I can promise you, I can attest to this. Anytime you're in a stance for that long, hey, Omaha, oh, over here, check Razor with the easy, boys, easy. Now you're 45 <laughs> seconds. Oh, go ahead and time, go ahead and give him a timeout, boys. All right, that was great. One rep's awesome. We're doing that 65 times a game. Hey, you're killing them, brother. You're killing them out there. If anything, I'm here as I'm a voice for the rest of the offensive linemen, singing for the guys right now. That was, it's tough. It is tough, man. Mr. Peyton Manning, I got a question for you. How would you handle Hit somebody me. like Taylor Lewan on your team? Oh, I love it. Look, the mustache. Which I love it. it? I, look, I love <laughs> the mustache. I would love. Look, I think Taylor would get along with me just fine, knowing that I'm up there for 40 seconds, trying to get him into the perfect play where he can block one defensive end, doesn't have to block the end and the linebacker, and get a piece of the three technique. Because I'm trying to get us out of bad plays, get us into good plays. So I think he would. He and I would get along fine. You know, he probably wouldn't like the long, uh, you know, audibles as much. He probably want a little more up-tempo, quick count plays. I would oblige. Look, I'm not as dumb as I look. 
Um, I'm trying to make these linemen happy. Uh, I got in an argument with Jeff Saturday one time, and I walked down to the O-line room, uh, to the O-line section of the field, and realized I was, you know, outmanned by my other guys. I kind of slowly backed off, so uh, I can figure things out. Sir, we actually have a foul. We have a photo from your rehab uh, that we'll show here when we have a second. Um, there it is. I love the positive <laughs> attitude here, but I thought you might attack rehab shirtless with some gold chains. Now, is this the standard attire for you in a cardigan for your rehab? Is that the norm? I was absolutely in a cardigan. They told me I couldn't sweat for the, uh, for the first two weeks, so I just started showing up in collared shirts and cardigans and just saying... I'm not going to wear anything that's going to tempt me to sweat. So uh, I had to avoid the infection. But um, I probably would have showed up shirtless with chains if I had ever gotten a chain, but I never really got one. And then we started 0-3, started 1-4, so I couldn't really rock the chain. But uh, Coles, Coles did send me a chain. It's the only one I've ever really gotten of, of some Coles cash. So uh, yeah, just yeah. let the camera see that. So that's my Coles, my Coles cash chain. I've, I've never really rocked that, but I keep that in the closet just uh, – just in case. Calling out the snap count. You can't do that. The refs hear it. Surprised they could hear it at a it home game for the think. Dolphins with the crowd cheering. Force. I think the Titans score. He's giving this to Derrick Henry. Nope. Yeah. Did he score wow. too fast? Tua's, Tua well, and Tyreek and Jalen, I think, are ready to go. Yeah, go for one. That's why you go for two, I guess. That's what, there it On is. the previous drive, there I guess that's is. why you do it. That's why you do it. You gotta, you gotta take the lead. But again, Tommy DeVito was just in this position. Like, great, you scored. You gave me too much time. And I only need one play now to get in field goal range. Will's, Will's getting a little too happy for a minute 49 left. <laughs> a little too fired up right now. A lot of football left. Yeah, there's a little too much time left. He may get the ball back one more time. <laughs> yeah. Heck of a drive. Surely Tyreek's going to be in on this two-minute this two-minute drill. He's trying oh, to the motion. Mm, yeah, no, no, no. Oh, what a oh, cut. I like this what fish, a man. Cut. That's not. Oh, oh maybe got miss. So you don't have to go out of bounds at that point. We just got to get. Running. We got to get the first down. Clock run. Oh no, we got to go. Oh, we got to have a fourth down. That, play the call. other ref came in. We got to go. go. We got to go. We got to go. go. Fourth now you're down. definitely getting first down. Then we got to spike it. We got to spike it. Get, get set, curve. get set, get set. This is this has got to be match coverage, right? Three buzz. Throw it to her. Uh-oh. Wow. Uh-oh. Titans win. Wow. Jeez. Oh. Wow. Holy cow. What a what a comeback. Heck of a win. I mean, they they really cost themselves 14 points and still found a way.